Hey guys, it's Wes back here with another video. I'm doing another autograph review. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. So I got here, I got this custom frame that I got made. Um, probably about a year or so ago. Um, very, uh, like I said, custom and it's kind of expensive. Uh, I got a local frame shop here uh, where I live and... You know, he does great work. He actually did my uh, my belt case. If you guys haven't seen that, it's got a, my wing eagle belt in there. And it's got lights and it's got all the uh, pictures of uh, the people that signed it. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, but yeah, I had him made another one about a year or so later. Um, yeah, very nice. I believe this measures 24 by 24, if I'm not mistaken. It's just got like a black uh, shadow box here. And around the edges, it's like a maroon uh, uh, filling here. And then he's got the silver lining there all the way around. And then the mat's really cool. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it kind of does sparkle. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's see. So, I met Alexa Bliss, uh, about two years ago. Uh, very nice lady to meet. Uh, she was just really, really nice and, uh, one of my favorites. Uh, one of my favorite, uh, wrestlers, uh, female wrestlers for sure. Um, this was, uh, I think this was... A day before they wrestled at Money in the Bank, and uh, she actually won the briefcase that uh, that night. And then uh, I think she, I believe she cashed it in that same night, if I'm not mistaken, against Nia Jax. I think it was Nia Jax and Ronda Rousey. I think. I think she cashed it in mid match. I could be wrong, um, but yeah, it was like the day before. As you can see, I do got the uh, Megacon ticket framed in there as well. Um, uh, it does say Friday, so yeah, it was a week of uh, the Money in the Bank weekend. Um, but yeah, something cool to put in there. Uh, you know, the guy always asks me what do you want, you know, to fill up the space. And I uh, usually like saving these ticket stubs and uh, you know, just something cool. And then, as you can see, it was at the Orange County Center, Conventional Center, uh, which is in Orlando, right in the heart of Orlando there. Um, then over here, he put, like, the, uh, the WWE logo, which is pretty cool. Uh, he did that for my uh, belt frame. He put the classic logo in that one as well, so pretty cool. And then, uh, obviously, right here, uh, he got a pro photo with her. I can't remember how much. I think it was around, I want to say 70 bucks for the photo op. I know the autograph was only 30, which is pretty cheap. Um, but yeah, there's me and her. She's uh, definitely really small in person. I believe she is five foot even and um, six foot. So I'm exactly a foot taller than her. As you can see, I'm kind of towering over her. Uh, but yeah, again, nice, nice lady. Uh, just really cool to meet. Uh, it was weird. I was looking at uh, other people's photo ops, and uh, for some reason, I don't know, I don't know why, but she just seems like she's smiling bigger in mine. I mean, no big deal. I just thought that was kind of uh, just weird. I went to. Uh, Went to it with my buddy and, you know, comparing mine to his, his, his was fine, I mean, but for some reason she just smiled like bigger. I don't, I don't know. Um, didn't say anything too much to make her smile that big. Uh, 
I mean, she said she liked my shirt and all that, and that's really it for the photo line. Uh, when I met her in the photo op line there, I mean, you don't have like maybe five seconds, may maybe 10 seconds to uh, not really chat with them, but to say hi and hello, but um, but yeah. But anyways, here is the glove I got signed. I uh, didn't know what to get for her. I believe she did have an elite out. Uh, but I didn't find one in time. Uh, kind of wish I got more autographs from her. Because 30 bucks for her, for a current superstar, is really cheap. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, it's just a... Uh, Alexa Bliss gloves. I think I got it on the on the shop there. I want to say it was like ten dollars at least. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it because of the glare. I mean, it's not the bad, but it's not the worst either. You know, had her sign pink marker there. Um, had her sign the right hand because I believe she is right-handed. Just something I don't know. I do got the left one in my room somewhere. Um, but as you can see, it uh, does have LED lights around it. Uh, this thing is, can light up. I will show you that in a second. Um, but yeah, like I said, I wish I would have had more stuff for her to sign. I uh, kind of regret, I actually probably should have had her sign the uh, photo up himself, but I believe can't remember if because I met Cena at this show too and Braun Strowman and uh, I think I met Cena the next day on Saturday and uh, I think with the autograph scheduling and the photo I think the photo up was first I want to say and then the, uh, the uh, either the autograph was first I think the autograph was first and then the photo up was second because I mean, if the photo op was first, I would have got her to sign it. But I know at that time I wasn't interested in getting my photo op signed. And then eventually I went back and, you know, got them signed. So something that, you know, I regret, but it is what it is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and uh, show you. That's uh, just a little 12 volt bolt. Uh, it does have a uh, sensor right there. If we can, there you go, and that comes with this remote. Uh, he happy happily put that in for free. Uh, it's really nice. I give him a lot of business, uh, not just me, but my other friends. And, uh, but yeah, give me a second. I'm gonna go put in the outlet real quick, and I'll be back. All right, so here it is, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on. Uh, just a simple uh, power button here. And then here it is. Um, I'm not sure if it doesn't look like the camera's picking up really good. Um, I do say in person it looks a lot better uh, than it is on camera. But uh, it's got different settings. I believe this one's on purple. And you can do red, green, blue. Well, that's green. And then white. Usually white's the best one. Uh, and you got yellow. Uh, let's see, it's like a light blue, it's kind of like a lime green, more of a darker green, lighter blue, kind of just goes in like different colors there. Um, I think the best setting was that purple, which like I said, it kind of looks, looks better here. That one's like a darker, um, it can blink, it's got different settings. Uh, it's got like strobe and jump and flash and then you can do it yourself which I have no idea how to do and then you can uh, lighten it up more but I believe that's the light the brightest setting yeah I don't know if you guys can yeah you guys can tell I think right there it's the brightest you can go but uh, here is a uh, flash Kind of just like jumps. Uh, you know, that one's on white. You can do, uh, do a fade, which is another good one. 
just fades into different colors. And then it got jump. It just jumps from one color to another. So pretty cool. Something to show off when people come into my room or, I don't know, if I'm showing off my stuff. And then you can have it to where you can go fast or slow. Here's a slow. That's quick. Here's slow. Not much of a difference. That's auto. Kind of like the fade. Just goes from one to another perfectly. Blue to green there to white to pink. So pretty cool. That was an extra add-on here. He gave me that one for free. Um, but yeah, it's basically the same uh, setup as the uh, the belt there. Might be able to do a belt, that belt frame review. I know I don't have a good lighting in there, so it might be hard to do. Plus, it's above my bed there, so uh, that can be a future video. Um, but yeah, that's about it, guys, for this video. Um, let's see, this Wednesday, I think I am uh, had to take back a couple tripods because they weren't either, they were, A, they wouldn't fit it to where I would have to take off my case, or B, they were just really, like, uh, just really cheap, just it was just really wobbly and stuff um so i'm trying to find one uh so hopefully uh this upcoming wednesday i'm gonna do like a little test uh a little test tripod uh got got a couple of shirts uh maybe do like an update not sure what to call the video i'll probably call it an update or something um and then next sunday uh, I actually didn't know this until about a couple of days ago, but I'm going to go up uh, to Tennessee and uh, meet some wrestlers. Uh, they're supposedly having a meet and greet up there. It's a big one. Uh, I'll tell you guys more about that uh, this next Sunday coming up. Uh, hopefully, I'll have all my, uh, all my uh, stuff in. I only bought a few items on eBay. The rest were... Uh, already had or uh, they're I'm just gonna buy an 8 by 10 um, but hopefully yeah sometimes this week I'm hoping I'll just do the same thing I did with the New York one to where I show you the name and uh, you know show you the item um, I think and then that next Wednesday after that would be starting my top five videos Hopefully the editing will come out pretty smooth because like I said, it's going to be front facing and it's not a physical, you know, top five. So see how challenging that would be. And then, yeah, that's really about it for now, guys. Uh, see this, uh, it's getting longer than I expected. So anyway, guys, you guys have a good one. Uh, thanks for all the likes and the views and the comments. And uh, yeah, you guys have a good one. Take care. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your main event. Coming down the aisle, Wes, the Autograph Acquirer.